Buchake English for Teens. Welcome to Buchake English for Teens. I'm Josh Barnard from Eon. And I'm Alex Schroer, also from Eon. Every week we're going to be sharing English phrases used by native speaking teens. We hope you enjoy them. So Josh, what's this week's issue about? The gang are still lost in the woods. I wonder if they'll find their way out. Well, let's listen and find out. Kazu, what do you think you're doing? I have an idea. Do you see anything? The campsite is over there. We're saved! I guess we should head back. I'm sorry we didn't find the tree. Be careful coming down, Kazu. Wow, Kazu really saved the day. Yeah, he was like a superhero. Did you see how he climbed that tree? It was pretty impressive. Wait, maybe he really is a superhero. Well, we already know about one of his superpowers, math. I meant a real superhero with real powers. You know, innocent mathlete by day. Crime-fighting mathlete by night. That's not what I... whatever. Did you catch what Alex said to David about not finding the tree? Yeah, he said, I'm sorry we didn't find the tree, right? Yep. Why did he apologize for something that wasn't his fault? Well, he wasn't actually apologizing. It may sound strange, but in English, I'm sorry is used to express sympathy. For example, if you lost your wallet, your friend might say, I'm sorry you lost your wallet. Or if your friend got sick and missed seeing their favorite band in concert, you'd say, I'm sorry you missed the concert. There's also an expression you can use as a response when someone gives you bad news. I'm sorry to hear that. If your friend told you that they failed an exam, you could say, I'm sorry to hear that. Can you think of another example, Josh? No! <laughs> sorry to hear that. Our doshi no tetsujin point for today is using head as a verb. There are actually a few different ways it is used, but today we're going to look at its usage in travel. In this week's issue, David said that they should head back. He meant that they should start going back to the campsite. The nuance is a little bit different from go. Head shows that you are beginning to move in a certain direction. It can also show that you are currently moving, like when you are on your way somewhere. Let's look at some examples. If you and your friend are going to a movie that is starting soon, you would say, let's head to the theater. If you are planning to meet another friend there, you could text them and say, we're heading over. And after you get out of the movie, you might say, I'm going to head home. Head out can also be used like itekimasu. Mom, I'm heading out. Oh, uh, my favorite show is on in 10 minutes. I'm going to head out. Have fun. See you later. Uh, okay. Well, that's all for today. Be sure to try these phrases out and don't forget to have fun. See you next week.